Prince William has tried his hand at pulling pints as well as meeting Wrexham FC officials during a visit to Wales. The Prince got behind the bar at the Turf Pub, made famous by the documentary about the club's fortunes since its Hollywood takeover. For the Prince of Wales, there's only one place to be on St David's Day. <laughs> Prince William in Wrexham at the end of a tricky week. This trip to the pub, though, easier to navigate. Still got a horrible head on it, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't work behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, almost. <laughs> He was here to learn about Wrexham Football Club's remarkable rise to stardom and meet one of the team's Hollywood owners who made it happen. It's not very often that you get an invitation to come, uh, you know, that you get a call from the palace. So uh, my plan was not to be here. I start shooting on Monday, but um, when you get a call from the prince, you, you, you come because it's a great honour. It's a great honour for the club, uh, especially with everything that he's got going on personally. In recent days, Prince William's personal life has been the focus of much attention. With Kate still recovering from surgery, he suddenly pulled out of his godfather's memorial service his office giving little detail why. After taking time off, William is back at work at this primary school to hear and see their celebration of Welsh traditions. With the King and Kate recuperating, royal firepower is noticeably reduced, with huge numbers of engagements currently cancelled. Wales is one of the places William and Kate are usually a strong double act. But after this week of febrile speculation, her absence here is perhaps more keenly felt than ever before as William carries on solo. And to that, a sober end to his day at the Gresford Mining Disaster Memorial, meeting the people keeping alive the memory of those who died. For this community, the royal visit meant a lot. Laura Bundock, Sky News, Gresford.